Today's coaster review is of Desert Storm at Castles and Coasters in Phoenix, Arizona. And right off the bat, this is a fun coaster. It really doesn't look like much, but I enjoyed this ride. It is the main roller coaster at Castles and Coasters. And actually, we don't know much about it at all. We know that it was manufactured by Hopkins, and it obviously goes upside down twice. But we don't know anything about the stats, its maximum speed, how tall it is. If I had to take a guess, I'd say it's probably around like 50 feet tall. Maximum speed, 30, 40 miles per hour. But that information hasn't been released, so I really don't know. But let's talk about the ride experience. So first things first, when I went, they were only running one train on this, so I don't know if they have a second train. But expect one train operations if you go. The restraints for this ride is just a lap bar, and you're going to start off by going up the lift hill, and you're going to go down a slanted drop. You're going to be thrown straight into a vertical loop, which is pretty tight. It's not the most comfortable loop because it takes a more circle shape. Most loops actually take an oval shape. Some people have said that it hurts their neck. I didn't really think that it hurt my neck, but it was pretty forceful. After that, you're going to go around a turn, which goes right over the go-karts, and you're going to go into the second loop. And I think that the first loop is definitely better than the second one. The second loop, like the first one, is pretty tight, but it's kind of deformed, actually. If you look at it from a certain angle, the shape that it takes is kind of odd, actually. It's not the best vertical loop out there, but it's fine. After that, it's going to go into a helix, which actually goes right through the vertical loop. And then you're going to go into a double helix. And the double helix is kind of forceless. It's just kind of fun. It adds to the ride. And then after that, you're simply going to hit the brakes. There's not a whole lot to it, but it's a fun coaster. It's a great fit for castles and coasters. This is their main attraction. And I honestly enjoyed it. I think I rode it probably five or six times. I didn't find it to be rough. It's a fairly smooth ride. And I think this ride would do well at larger parks too. But I think one of the coolest things about this ride is that it takes up so much space, but because of the park's layout and the way that they had the attractions interact with each other, this coaster encompasses so much of the park, but it goes over all of these different attractions. It's really neat. And it's a nice looking coaster too. The white and green is a good color scheme, though I don't really think it works with the name. When I think desert, I don't think white and green. I think a yellow would have been better. I think that the green works fine because, like, the color of cactus. But I think white was kind of an odd choice, but hey, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. But overall, for the final score, I'm giving Desert Storm a 7. I think it's a fun coaster. It's a good intermediate ride for people that are trying to work up to the larger ones because it goes upside down twice, so it can also introduce people to going through inversions. And it's very re-rideable. When I went to Castles and Coasters, there was basically no line for it, so we just kept on re-riding. So that's my thoughts on Desert Storm. Have you ridden this ride? I want to hear what you think about it. Make sure to stay tuned for more coaster reviews. They'll be posted here to Coaster Studios, and I'll catch you guys next time.